Hey, it's Casey here from Student Job Search, the online platform for hiring emerging student talent like you and me. As a student or recent graduate hunting for your first job, your LinkedIn profile is just as important as nailing your CV. Did you know that hiring managers often look to LinkedIn when deciding whether or not to interview someone for the role? Users with a complete LinkedIn profile are 40 times more likely to receive job interviews and opportunities. So today, we're gonna go through your LinkedIn profile from top to bottom to help you get to the top of the pile. First, we'll cover tips for a great professional profile pic. Then we'll look into the key information you'll need to include in your headline, summary, and experience section so that they're optimized and searchable for recruiters and hiring managers. Finally, we'll talk about endorsements and recommendations, why you should bother with them, and who you should ask. All right, are you ready to make sure that your professional digital CV is up to scratch? Let's get started. First things first, record your name so that prospective employers know how to pronounce it correctly. You can do the recording by viewing your LinkedIn profile from the mobile app. Once there, click on the edit icon and select add name pronunciation. Now you can record your name. This is great for me because sometimes I get called Cassie instead of Casey. Let's talk about your profile picture. Your profile picture is the first impression of you. Employees may see this photo before they meet you in person. So this is my test. Could this photo have been taken of you right before you walked into that job interview? This means, are you wearing professional clothes and do you look warm and approachable? If the answer is yes, then it's a contender. But there are other factors to think about as well. Like, is this a recent photo? Is it fairly close up and is it good quality as well? Remember, LinkedIn is a social network, but it's different from Facebook and Instagram. Selfie profile pics are a no-go, and so are holiday photos and one where you're wearing sunglasses, or a hat, or holding a beer. If you need a photo for LinkedIn, put a professional outfit on and ask a friend to take a few snaps of you against a neutral wall with a good quality camera or a smartphone. Awesome, I think I have my new professional photo to upload now. Time to talk about headlines. If your LinkedIn profile were an essay, then your headline would be your statement. It should be clear and concise and basically sum up who you are professionally in 120 characters. So as a student or a recent graduate, use your headline to show that you're looking for a role, but avoid generalized statements like actively looking for work or recent graduate looking for opportunities. Instead, use keywords related to your preferred industry and your headline. That way, you'll be able to more likely show up in a recruiter's search. Some examples of headlines might include marketing specialist seeking internship, bachelor of science student majoring in chemistry, aspiring lab researcher, or BCom majoring in economics, seeking a finance role. I've just completed my degree in environmental studies and I would love to work in conservation and sustainability. I'll change my headline to environmental studies graduate, aspiring to make a difference in conservation. Okay, I've got my headline covered. Next, let's look at your summary. It's easy to be intimidated by this section and a lot of people miss out by not opting to include it. However, a well-informed summary does not only give you a complete profile, but it also is a great place to spike the interest of potential employers. In your summary, communicate your key skills and recent accomplishments. For example, talk about how you've just finished your honors design degree and how you've recently won an award for that piece in your design portfolio. Your summary section is also a great place to describe your career or job aspirations. Approach this with a, what can I do for you mindset? Describe why you are uniquely qualified to solve the problems for the industry that you want to work in. The summary section is limited to around 400 words, which seems like a lot, but it will go fast. Be thoughtful in the sentences that you include and, like your headline, avoid generalized statements or non-descriptive buzzwords. A final tip for your summary, make sure that you really capture the attention in the first two lines as LinkedIn cuts off your paragraphs until the user clicks see more. Okay, my summary is written and we can keep on moving. On to the next section of your LinkedIn profile, experience. Your LinkedIn experience area is a record of your previous roles, responsibilities and achievements. Think of it as a public searchable record of your CV. Now, if you've already written a CV, then you've got a head start. Use these details from your CV to populate the descriptions for each of your roles. Keep in mind that this is another great opportunity to include keywords relevant to your industry, which will help you become more visible to recruiters. And again, avoid any language that's too vague. 
When updating the experience section, make sure to link the company, location, and select the right dates. LinkedIn also allows you to include links or images with your roles so that you can add work samples if relevant. If you don't have a lot of experience yet, that's okay too. One-off and casual work is all good experience, perhaps maybe just under one general heading with details of the industry and the responsibilities that you did. Make sure to include your university achievements under the education section. All right, my experience is up to date. So the final sections that we're going to look at are the skills and endorsement section and the recommendation section. Adding skills to your LinkedIn and being endorsed to them is the third highest factor that makes your profile appear in search results, so it's worthwhile doing. I recommend adding skills that are relevant to your industry. In my case, I'll add problem solving, field mapping, and stakeholder engagement as someone that's going into environmental studies. Pin your most relevant skills as your top three. These will be featured on your profile. Once you've added skills, it's time to collect endorsements. The best way to do this is to endorse former or current classmates or colleagues and ask them to do the same in return. Now, let's talk about recommendations. Recommendations might seem hard when you've got limited professional experience, but think about all the different people you've worked for. Was there someone that you volunteered for last summer or a neighbor you always pets it for? Don't be shy about connecting with these people or with your lecturers and asking for recommendations. Remember, they want to see you succeed and are probably more than happy to help. You could send a message like, it would be really helpful if you could provide a recommendation mentioning that I was great with customers, always arrived on time and was responsible and reliable. Just make sure to say thank you. And there you have it, a top to bottom look at how you can optimize your LinkedIn profile and stand out to hiring managers. Let us help you land your next role. Join Student Job Search. Jobs on our site are exclusively and only for students. It's fast and simple. Just head to sjs.co.nz to register, search, and apply for jobs where employers want students or recent graduates, like us.